بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم کے مالک یو آر واچنگ اے ایم کریٹیوٹی چینل ٹوڈے آئی ایم ڈسکسنگ ٹوڈے وی ایم ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ آر پی ایم اینڈ سی پی ایم وٹ ایز ڈیفرنس بٹوین دیم بیفور شیئرنگ یوزفل انفو آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ریکویسٹ پلیز سبسکرائب دس چینل لائک دا ویڈیو اینڈ کلک آن نوٹفیکیشن بیل سو یو کین گیٹ دا ویڈیو اینڈ انکریز یور سکل ریسپیکٹڈ آڈینس فرسٹ آف آل وی ووڈ لائک ٹو ڈسکس آر پی ایم ریونیو پر مائل از اے میٹرک ڈیٹ ریپرزینٹس how much money you are earned per 1000 video views rpm is based on several revenue sources including ads channels membership youtube premium revenue super chat and super stickers why is my rpm lower than cpm rpm is lower than cpm because rpm is calculated after youtube revenue share RPM includes all views including ones they were not monetized. The amount of revenue you make has not been charged as part of addition of the RPM metric. What is different between RPM and CPM? CPM is the cost per 1000 ad impression before YouTube revenue share. RPM is your total revenue after YouTube revenue share per 1000 views. Now we are discussing about RPM and CPM. RPM creator focused metric CPM advertiser focused RPM includes total revenue reported in YouTube analytic including ads YouTube premium channel membership super chat and member stickers CPM includes only revenue from ads and YouTube premium RPM includes total number of views from your videos including the one that did not monetize CPM include only views from the video that monetized that is ads were shown. RPM the actual revenue earned after revenue share. CPM earning before revenue share. Why is RPM important? RPM lets you see how much money you are earning per 1000 views. It also helps you understand how effective your monetization overall how can i increase my rpm to improve my rpm you should improve your total revenue here are some steps to maximize rpm turn on monetization on all videos turn on all ad formats turn on ads all eligible position for example mid rolls turn on all more features for example members super chat to diversify your revenue stream keep in mind that each features have its own requirements and guidelines if my rpm is going up and going down what does it mean rpm is a snapshot of the rate at which you are earning money on youtube if it is goes up it means you have earning more money from every 1000 views and if it is gone down note you are earning your less rpm may go down when there is an increase in unmonetized views even if your revenue was the same whether the rpm goes up or down it is a good indication of what is or it is not working in your revenue strategy understanding what influences rpm can help you identify opportunities to improve your monetization strategies what does not rpm tell me about my revenue rpm is a useful monetization metric for creators but it cannot tell your whole revenue story here is what it is does not include revenue made from selling merchandise or using the merch itself revenue made through brand deals and sponsorships excluding youtube brand correct any other revenue generated indirectly through YouTube service speaking consulting fees. RPM cannot tell you which revenue source is responsible for saving in your overall revenue because RPM combines several metrics. It cannot tell you which revenue source is responsible for saving in your revenue. For example, 
you might see a decrease in the rpm because your views may be up but not all are at enabled views or you may see rpm go up with no significant changes to views because views are going up for channel membership we recommend you to use all the different analytics youtube gives to help you fully understand change in your rpm cpm cost per 1000 impression is a metric that represent how much many advertisers are spending to show ads on youtube you will see a few different cpm metrics in youtube analytics you will see a few different cpm metrics in your youtube analytics cpm the cost an advertiser pays for 1000 ad impressions and ad impression is counted anytime an ad is displayed playback based cpm the cost an advertiser pays for 1000 videos playback where an ad is displayed what is different between cpm and playback based cpm we design youtube can have more than one ad cpm focuses on the advertiser cost for an ad impression cpm focuses on the advertiser cost for an impressions playback based cpm focuses on the advertiser cost for videos playback that include one or more ads your playback based cpm your playback based cpm is often higher than your cpm for example say your video is viewed 5000 times 1000 views included one ad and 500 other views included two ads for a total of 1500 views with ads this insistence means there was 2000 individual ad impression but only 1500 monetized playbacks let's say the advertiser paid seven dollar total the video cost per impression would equal the seven dollar advertiser cost divided by the 2000 ad impression and 0.0035 dollar the cpm or cost per 1000 impression would then equal 0.0035 times 1000 or 3.5 dollar the playback base cpm would equal 7 dollar divided by the 1500 monetized playback times 1000 or 4.6 dollar why is cpm important you get a cut of what advertiser pay when an ad serves on your video the more an advertiser pay for that ad the more money you make your cpm is a good indicator of how valuable advertiser find your videos and audience for achieving their own business goal your revenue will not be equal to the your cpm times your viewers because cpm reflects that advertiser pay not what you on also not on all will views will have ads if there are not advertiser friendly some videos are ineligible for ad to altogether other video views may not include ads due to lack of available ads views that included ads are referred to as monetized playback why is my cpm changing fluctuations in your cpm over times are normal and ads for many reasons such as time of year changing in views graphy shifts in distribution of available ads format now we are discussing about time of year advertisers tend to bid higher or lower depending on the time to year for instance many advertisers bid higher just before holidays change in viewer geography Advertisers can control which geography they had like to reach with their ads. Different location will have different level of competition in the ad market. So CPM will vary by geography. If there is a shift in where most of views are coming from, you may see a shift in CPM. For instance, if you previously had views from a geography with higher CPMs, but are now getting more views from geography with lower cpms you may see a decrease in your cpm 
shift in distribution of available ad formats different ad type tends to have different cpms if you instance there are more available non skippable ads if you in understand the ad this is a good video please like this video and subscribe em creativity channel and click on notification bell thank you very much welcome with new video allah hafiz